Well, hello again, friends. My name is Reverend Thomas Harper, and I'm the pastor of St. Luke's United Methodist Church in Bryan College Station. And this is Weekly Theistic Reflections, where each week I take a verse of scripture, unpack that scripture a little bit, talk about what's going on in the context of that scripture, talk about maybe how that scripture relates to what's going on in the context of our world today, or just share some thoughts that I have about that scripture. If you're new here, I invite you to take a look around the channel, hit like and subscribe, that really helps me out, as well as click that notification bell so that you will be notified every single time I post one of these videos. I post a new video every single Thursday, and as always, if you think someone would benefit from the content of this specific video, I invite you to share that video with them in order to be a blessing to them. I've entitled this episode, The Grass is Greener Where You Water It. The scripture that I chose for today is Galatians 6, 7 through 8. Do not be deceived. God is not mocked. For you reap whatever you sow. If you sow to your own flesh, you will reap corruption from the flesh. But if you sow to the Spirit, you will reap eternal life from the Spirit. It's the Word of God for us, people of God. Thanks be to God. And so there's this common phrase, the grass is always greener on the other side. And I think it speaks to this idea that oftentimes what we don't have, but we see other people have, we think, man, if I just had that thing, if I just um, was able to have what my neighbor has, then I would be happy. Then I would be more content in life. When in reality, if we got those things, if we got the things that we coveted from other people, we would learn that those things aren't really the things that make us happy. I realize that a lot of times perception is that things are greener when we don't have them, but when we finally get them, we realize that they weren't that great to begin with. I had a former pastor say, actually, it ought to be the grass is greener where you water it. It speaks to what I think Paul is talking about here in Galatians is whatever you put your time into, that's where you're going to see results. Whatever you are sowing in your life, you will inevitably reap the results of that. It's almost like a Facebook algorithm that's showing you the certain types of ads or the YouTube recommendations on your channel is just a direct reflection of where you've been focusing your time. What have you been paying attention to in life? Where have you spent your time investing? Because that's what's going to grow in your life. If you want certain areas to grow in your life, then you should cultivate those areas. You should water those areas of your life. So be sure that you are spending your effort and your energy and your time watering the parts of your life that you want to grow. So recently, my wife um, spent some money and time hiring someone to put down new grass pallets in our backyard. Uh, a predecessor had a lot of plants and um, just elaborate stuff in the backyard that we don't know how to handle. So uh, we figured rather than just killing everything uh, and doing a horrible job trying to pretend like we're gardeners, uh, we just put down a nice bed of grass everywhere in the backyard uh, to have this nice lawn. And it seemed like the very day we spent that money and we did that, it just stopped raining. Like it would rain once a couple of days for months. And then the moment we put down this amount of grass in our backyard, it stopped raining. And so there for uh, the beginning, my wife was constantly out there just watering the grass, trying to make the grass take root, trying to make sure it didn't die and trying to make sure we didn't um, waste the money that we had spent on that. Well, after a while, she was out there all the time, kind of separated from the family. And so we realized this wasn't a good way to spend an, an hour or so of our evening apart from one another. And so I went out there and started watering with her. And, and the kids went out there and the puppy dog. And so it kind of became this big family thing. At the end of the day, we're just going to water the grass together. And let me tell you, up until this point in my life, I have not even noticed grass. I have not given two thoughts about if the grass in my backyard is getting enough water, but now that I am invested in this grass, now that um, we've kind of turned this into a family time thing in the evening, um, I really care about what the grass looks like. In fact, one of the first things I do in the morning is I get out and I go look at the grass and see how green it is becoming. That's something that we now share together. It's something that we are now invested in together. 
And so we take time to water the grass every single evening. And the funny thing is, when it does happen to start to rain, it's like a celebration in our family. Uh, we'll send text messages to each other in the middle of the day, it's raining, isn't that great? Uh, I can't imagine what it would have been like for the people that relied on rain so much. Like I know we still rely on rain, but it's not something we notice all of the time. It makes me realize that uh, rain is a gift from God. And if you needed it in order to survive, in order for your crops to grow, in order for uh, the seeds that you're planting to blossom, what a great interdependent relationship that you have with God, praising God when it rains. Thank you, God, for the abundance of the rain. And so are you looking around at other people's things? Are you looking around at the grass on the other side of your fence and thinking, man, it seems like that life must be a lot better than my own. Um, remember that the truism, the grass is always greener on the other side, is a real thing. A lot of that's just perception. Don't covet what your neighbor has, because even if you had it, it wouldn't be the thing that really makes you content. In life. And then remember that where you spend your time in life, the things that you focus on in your life is inevitably what you will reap in your life down the road. And so invest in the areas of your life that you want to improve. Invest in the things that matter most to you, whether that's your checkbook or your children or your marriage. Know that where you spend your focus is where you see the results. And so no, the grass is not greener on the other side. The grass is greener where you water it. Here's a question that I want you to ponder. What areas of your life might need some watering these days? If you're looking around at the things that you may have been neglecting in your life, what could use your attention and focus so that you will see better results? If you're in the Bryan College Station area, I invite you to give us a look. We have a new worship service every single Sunday morning at 10 a.m. We also live stream here, uh, and so you can get an idea of what we are and who we are and what we're about. Uh, you can watch us via Facebook. But if you do come in person, we'd love to get to know you, love to do life and ministry with you. But until next time, friends, remember that the grass grows where you water it. The things in your life that you reap are really what you have sowed. So be intentional about where you are spending your time in your life. Until next time, friends, continue to love each other well. Take care.